Bij het regionaal ziekenhuis Wanika is er vanuit de Amerikaanse ambassade een grote donatie gedaan aan de regering van Suriname. Aanwezig waren de president van de Republiek Suriname, Chandrika Persat Santoki, als de minister van Defensie, Krishna Matura, de minister van Volksgezondheid, Amar Ramadin, om deze gesten in ontvangst te nemen. Wij voeren nu naar het verslag vanuit het regionaal ziekenhuis Wanika. As the CEO of uh, Wanika Hospital already told us about the impact of COVID in Suriname, I will not repeat this. It is double information. But with the donation of this field hospital, the United States of America has made a very good contribution with regard to the part of the facilities. It is now up to us as the ministry to make good use of this donation. I will not mention the other support because that has been a lot. From ventilators, personnel, everything, Mr. Ambassador, the United States has contributed a lot during the COVID-19 pandemic. The visit of Admiral Feller earlier this year marked a new phase in the long and fruitful defense cooperation that the Republic of Suriname has with the United Nations with the United States Southern Command. During his visit, COVID-19 equipment was donated while we took the opportunity to discuss with him our threats and challenges and how South Southcom could assist. Today, this donation of fully equipped field hospital by the United States to the people of Suriname is another demonstration that the partnership between our countries and between our forces is real, is important, and very much appreciated. Solidarity and companionship are core values of the military organization and of a soldier's profession. Especially in combat situation, no one is left behind. We care for each other and ensure that everyone is safe and secure. And the same spirit and value is demonstrated today by the Southcom, especially within the presence of Admiral David. Truly an honor, a privilege to welcome you in Suriname. You are a great example of strong woman leadership within the Defense Force. And once again, I take this opportunity to thank you for sharing your impressive experience and journey with our woman leadership. And I, I've heard from uh, Rear Admiral Davids about her visits yesterday and the meetings and the various interactions. And she has been so impressed. And I do not find that surprising at all uh, with all of the uh, professionalism and level of commitment from everyone within our Surinamese partners. So thank you to all of you for that. Uh, it, it is a, a true honor to be able to be here today on behalf of the United States of America to officially donate this field hospital uh, to Suriname. Uh, my sincerest thanks to U.S. Southern Command, to Admiral Fowler, to Admiral Davids, my friend. I'm so glad one of the perks of side benefits of donating to the hospital is my friend gets to come and visit too. So it's a wonderful thing. Uh, the current pandemic has taught us all once again that our present and futures are entwined. The health, safety, prosperity, and lives of those in one nation are inextricably linked to the health and prosperity of those in others. We are interconnected geographically, historically, and culturally. As democracies, we share many of the same values. The support for the rule of law, respect for human rights, equality for all peoples, and the welfare and safety of our citizens. That is why we are here today, to give Suriname one more tool in combating the virus and saving lives. This is not the first donation of supplies and equipment, as, as uh, uh, Mr. Ramadine and others have noted. Uh, uh, to this point, uh, it's, we're now approaching nearly $2 million in various kinds of assistance specific, specific to COVID, either through USAID, through the embassy, or through US Southern Command. Uh, a vast majority through U.S. Southern Command. So again, thank you so much. Every country strives to have a good healthcare system 
with the best health care possibilities for all. In this respect, Suriname is no exception. We want the best to our people and for our people. We have import important health care issues in place and health care workers as well who do their job very well, particularly nowadays with the challenge of COVID-19, they do their utmost to provide the community with the best health care assistance possible. I appreciate their work and efforts. However, I want to underscore that we as country, we are still a development developing country. So, as said before, we are facing several types of crises, social, economic crisis, financial crisis, and also the crisis impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. And yes, everyone wants the healthcare system, the healthcare institutions very close to the living area. Every district wants to have one hospital like this one, the hospital of the district of Wanika. And it would be ideal to have that. Every district, a hospital, but since this is currently not possible, Ambassador, with this fully equipped field hospital that can be realized for every district and every area where the people will need that assistance from this hospital. We can put it everywhere and I welcome this option for our people and for our healthcare system. With this hospital, urgent health care can be provided to a group of people in a certain area due to the specific circumstances. As the President of the Republic of Suriname and the Commander-in-Chief of the Suriname Armed Forces, I am particularly pleased with the defense organization between the United States of America and Suriname. It is a political military framework for managing security through cooperation. And I'm proud of our military engineers who were involved in setting up this field hospital and also with assistance of Admiral, your staff. A job well done, Army of Suriname and Army of the United States of America. Ambassador Williams and Admiral David. My compliments to this humanitarian project from the United States Southern Command. Be assured that this hospital will be put to good use. Suriname and the United States of America have intensified the relationship in many ways. The collaboration in terms of political dialogue, economic development, trade, and security has increased. In the balance and strategic foreign policy of Suriname, this geopolitical alliance is of critical importance in creating a prosperous, safe, and stable future. Both countries share common and internationally recognized values, such as a democratic, inclusive and rule-based society with the protection of human rights at its core. Therefore, today's ceremony of the handover of this field hospital is an expression of this relationship. Suriname appreciates the solidarity and the continuous support from the United States of America. May the cooperation between the United States of America and Suriname 
It would mean one that is based on fruitful collaboration, mutual respect, and benefit. Ambassador, ladies and gentlemen, that now, may I express my sincere thank on behalf of the government and the people of Suriname for this beautiful field hospital.